So I embarked on a two-year Halloween project of creating an electromechanical pumpkin head that revealed to a spooky face when you flipped a switch. Last year I assembled version number one prototype but ran out of time before All Hallows Eve. So here's a like vlog tutorial I guess for how I created version number two. I started by cutting a head-sized hole at the bottom of the pumpkin and gutting it clean like my water. with my pumpkin carving supplies. I designed all the 3D printed parts on Autodesk Fusion 360, which I'm allegedly technically stealing by pretending I'm a student. But you should do it too if you have a college email address. In total, there's five parts which assemble around the servo motor and act as a hinge for the servo motor to open and close a chunk of the pumpkin. I've uploaded all of the parts on Thingverse, a website where you can download free files to 3D print so that you can 3D print the parts in your home on your 3D printer, which you obviously have. I started attaching one servo motor to the pumpkin by first placing the two servo motor holders on both sides of the servo motor's feet. To fasten all the 3D printed parts to the pumpkin, you can drill or stab through both the holes of the pumpkin and the parts with something long, thin, and sharp. You want to make sure that the pumpkin stab holes are concentric with the parts holes. Then you'll want to place a long M3 screw through the parts hole and pumpkin hole. The screw should reach the inside of the pumpkin. Then place one of the 3D printed washers through the screw on the internal pumpkin side. Lastly, twist on a nut through the screw on the internal pumpkin side. The 3D printed washer gives the screw a wider surface area to grab onto inside of the pumpkin. As for the specific screws, I purchased these M3 by 50 mm screws with matching nuts on Amazon. But in hindsight, I would get even longer ones like M3 by 60, 65, or 70 mm just to make sure the screw reaches through on like a really thick pumpkin. Now we're gonna attach what I'm calling the lever horn to the lever arm with tiny screws and nuts that I need to look up the names of. And with those same tiny screws and nuts, we're going to attach the lever arm to the servo arm. Now I did this off camera because I'm a dumb arse, but I attached the hinge base to the pumpkin already. And now I'm securing the hinge base to the lever horn with a long screw. As you can see, everything is in position such that when the servo arm rotates, it pulls the lever arm, which rotates the lever horn. The lever horn will soon be attached to the pumpkin. I'm just sketching out a face because this is a test pumpkin, a proof of concept mainly. And now I'm cutting out about a quarter of the face to test the strength of the motor. Lastly, I'm using three M3 screws to secure the lever horn to the piece of pumpkin I cut out. And of course, tightening the screws to the lever horn and pumpkin by using washers and nuts inside the pumpkin. So to quickly test out the servo's strength without writing any code, I attach the servo to a servo controller board, which lets you rotate the servo quickly and easily with knobs. Voila! I'd say that the proof of concept had been proof. He's not on my so now onto making version 2, which is technically version 4, because I made two versions last year and two this year, but anyway, this is the final version. So for the final version, I wanted servos, four of them to be exact, to open and close with the flip of a single switch. So I had to bust out my Arduino Icon controller, as well as my Adafruit PWM driver board, and a regular switch. I soldered some wires onto the switch so that I could plug the wires into the Adafruit Arduino board. I wrote some Arduino code with my academic business organizational partner, ChatGPT, which allowed me to flip a switch and specify the degrees of rotation of the four servos. I'm good at coding, but ChatGPT just made it so much easier and efficient to about the exact code I needed. It really codled me. <laughs> Get it? Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'll link my exact code in the description if you want to check it out. So for the final pumpkin, I got the literal biggest I could find and still had to carve out extra mass from the top of it to fit my big ass head. I mean, my big arse head. Definitely try on the pumpkin head and see if you need to add foam on the inside for it to be more stable. For me, it was fine without the foam. When it came to carving out the eyes and the smile, you can carve them out fully, but I decided to just carve out a quarter inch and paint the eye and mouth flesh black so that my face can be completely concealed when the pumpkin is closed. Again, I attached the parts to the servo motor by first attaching the horn and the lever arm, then attaching the lever arm to the servo, then attaching the base hinge to the lever horn. This part was kind of boring and annoying, but to get this to work, I needed the four servo motors to start at a specific angle and rotate a specific amount of degrees. To get the servo motors to start at a specific angle based on their placement on the pumpkin, I needed to calibrate them via my code. I labeled each of the four servo motors before attaching them. I made sure that I got the code right with an assist from my boyfriend, Jack GBT, so that the servos all started in the closed position at first. This basically means that the servos are at an angle in which the pumpkin pieces are closed before I flip the switch and rotate them open because without calibration they'll start at a random angles instead of a unified open and closed position. Once the calibration was done I attached the pieces with screws and tightened the screws to the pumpkin with the internal washers and nuts. 
Then I carved a spot on the forehead for the switch and waterproofed the switch by wrapping the electrical parts in heat shrink and electrical tape so that the pumpkin juices don't get the switch wet. I cut out a piece for each of the four motors to rotate, but BAM! The lower two pieces were too heavy and the 3D printed lever horn snapped. At this point, the project was so close to being finished, I had already spent 10 hours working on this one pumpkin, so I was a bit mortified. I knew that it would take me at least a day to 3D print more parts, and that the pumpkin would mold a little bit each day. But I didn't care. I had already sunk 20 hours into this, which is more than I can count. So I reprinted the lever horn, carved some mass off the lower pieces, which were too heavy, and attached everything once again. Two days had passed since I started on this version 4, which means there definitely was a little bit of mold in the pumpkin, but I scraped it off. A little bit of mold ain't hurt nobody. Although probably has, but I didn't care about the long-term ramifications of inhaling mold because I'll die when I die. I think I finally f***ing got it. Tarantula break. Roar break. Makeup time. I don't know what the hell I'm doing at all. I'm just gonna spend two hours doing some special effects makeup look to the best of my abilities and that's gonna be what it is. I have all night so I might as well start now. Huh. Spooky, spooky, cokey, and creepy. Well, here was the project. As you can see, it has advanced so much more from last year, but it probably will still need another year for me to perfect this. I really screwed up when those parts broke and the pumpkin deteriorated over two days because when the parts broke, I had to wait two days because I had to work this next two days to begin on this project again. But as you can see, it's a lot better than last year. The servos are a lot stronger, high torque servos. I have my makeup done as I would wanted to do and next year would get even better. Next year though, I will not be using one of these real mother pumpkins. I will be using next year a fake pumpkin, like a plastic pumpkin so I could have it forever because I'm just tired of organic pumpkins and I'm pretty sure this one has molded a little bit and I've been breathing it. That's why I had to like literally take like an emergency nap in the middle of, <laughs> in the middle of this process. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining. Um, I have some more projects coming up that are gonna be really cute. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. I wanna get to 200 subscribers and I'll see you next time.